Hold up, hold up, hold up. Awesome. Well, welcome, everyone. Uh, this is our first podcast. Um, we just want to introduce some of the team members here that are going to be joining us today. We're going to start at the very far end. Hey, I'm Lucy. My name is Nelson. Hey, guys. My name is Genesis. And my name is Edwin. Um, welcome, everyone. How do you guys feel being up here? Uh, could be a little intimidating, right? Yeah, this is crazy. It's First fun. podcast. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Chill. excited. Awesome. Well, you know what? Um, you know what? We usually start, and I think we want to start this way also today. Um, usually what I'm doing with the middle schoolers, because I'm, I'm helping out there uh, in our youth ministry, um, we do highs, lows, and buffaloes. Does anyone know what that is? You guys yeah. do? Mm-hmm. You familiar yeah. with it? Yeah, we got it. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to start with uh, Lucy. Um, she's going to say a high, which is... You know, a highlight of her week, her month, maybe just today, um, maybe a low that she went through this week, and a buffalo. Uh, people are asking us, what is a buffalo? And uh, it's just something random you want us to know about you, or something random that happened today. So if you want to go ahead and give us your highs, lows, and buffaloes, Lucy. Okay, so my high, I would say being here. Loki, yeah, I've been looking forward to it, so I'm happy. And then my low, I had midterms this week. And then my buffalo, um, honestly, just I was talking to them about it, like, before we started the podcast, that I work with kids, and one of the kids, uh, he, like, passed out a note to ask an, a girl to be his girlfriend, and I just thought that was really Aww, cute. That's, uh, yeah, that's so cute. that was, that's cute. yeah, my random fact of today. Well, what's the result? Did he say she oh, said yes yeah, or no? Oh, yeah, no, she rejected him. But oh, wow. Oh, I know, bro, <laughs> that's, that's, that's so man had the courage. His first, <laughs> first love, his first love and yeah. first heart That's crazy. That's crazy. And the next one, how about you? All right, so my high is actually that I applied to a new job, um, Din Tai Fung. Um, and so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm waiting to hear for a response. My low is that I'm getting less hours than my current job. So there's that. Um, random facts. I'm making this this like it's a, it's gonna be a surprise for my for my niece. There you go, because my brother's having a baby, and so. Oh, congratulations on that, yeah. man! Oh yeah, that's yeah. so sweet. Do they? How far along is she? She's five months in. She's in, I think oh. five months, but the baby's born in February twelfth. Do they know what they're having already? A girl. A girl. Oh, wow. Yeah. Excited about that? Another girl. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna so be our world. first niece in the family. Oh, oh man, that's congrats. amazing. That's, that's great. So cute. Yeah. How about uh, we hear from Genesis now? Oh my gosh, that's good. Genesis. Johnny. Um, the a high would be actually I don't have anything that special that happened in my week. What? So I would say like waking up. That's my high. Wow. I think that's <laughs> great that you can acknowledge that. Is that. Great. <laughs> Um, my low would be probably taking an exam yesterday at school. I took an exam for a history class, and it's, I don't know what I got yet, but I'm just, like, <laughs> nervous. What kind of history is it? Uh, it's, like, it's U.S. history. It's an US honors history. class, wow. too, so, yeah. That's good. How I, fun. I don't even know. I didn't want to take that class. I took it because of my friend. She was like, oh, just take it. It'll be easy, and it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Oh. I would say my buffalo. Hmm. What's something random? I stubbed my toe today, guys. Wow. I actually... Why just well, were you doing something or what? Like, <laughs> no, I was like... I wasn't running in my house, but I was just like oh. walking and I stubbed she my toe. She was mad at the novella and kicked the TV probably. Huh? Yeah, but yeah. I almost wanted to cry. But All what right. about you, Edwin? Your high, low? Oh, low. man. My high... I, I can say that I took the day off yesterday. You know, I just relaxed, enjoyed it. Um, my low was that I actually had to go back to work today. So mm. that was pretty low. But... Uh, something random. Um, I had uh, buffalo wings yesterday. <gasps> okay, your buffalo flavor. flavor. Oh, yes, that's crazy. my buffalo is a buffalo, so <laughs> <Okay>. just <laughs> throwing that out there. You know, okay. that's awesome. So, w. Uh, so yeah, that's the way we would like to get started, and you know, just to see how you know our weeks are going, our months, stuff like that. But we will kind of want to jump into some questions real quick, um, and I'm gonna just throw a random question out there for you guys. Um, and this might be a little intimidating for you guys, That's but uh, what is our favorite thing about church? <gasps> wow. Ooh. It's a tough one, right? It tough is. One. Can I get a few seconds? To, I'm kidding. Um, am I starting? Yeah. Well, if you want to go ahead. Let's go ahead. <laughs> we started with Lucy since she's on yeah. the far right. My favorite thing about church, I would say, is um, the people. 
The people, I nice. Say that. Yeah, I love yeah. people. So oh. <laughs> I love talking to people. <laughs> so yeah, I love going to church and like, I guess honestly, new people. That's my favorite thing about church when new people come. Yeah. What's your experience with new people like? I don't know. I feel like I've experienced just being the new person uh, a lot of times. Yeah, and I just like going up to new people and like getting to know a new person, you know, new friend. That's good. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. Nice. Right. People. Thank you. I wish I was like that, though. I'm not going to lie. I struggle a little bit with, with like, introducing myself because I'm like, hello, hello, especially in Spanish because, oh, my goodness, dude. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, hola. But, no, my Spanish is good. But I would say my favorite thing about church is also the people. I would say that the presence, but honestly, like, if you're at home, you can, you can, you can start praying and feel the same way. But it's just when you're with the congregant, congregation of people yeah. that are in the same like spirit it's just something so beautiful because you see them like like how they how we love each other like as friends as family it's just i don't know i just think it's so beautiful mm -hmm. now is there like a particular time in church during services that you feel like you get a bigger connection with them or when when we're praying for someone actually when oh, nice. like when someone needs mm -hmm. healing or when someone's like going through hard times and like the uh, preacher, the pastor asked us like to extend your arms. I think that's something so beautiful because you're like everyone in unison is just coming together to pray for one person. That's great. That's so that's awesome. Nice. Like. I like that about prayer. <laughs> Pray, like prayer is a big thing in church. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you're if you're uh, ever caught, you know, like I, I I think I have one of those situations where pastor says, "Lift your hands up, close your mm -hmm. eyes," and I'm the one that person that's like, oh, I don't want to close my yeah. eyes, you know. And sometimes you have thoughts through your head, like saying, like, oh, man, like, I, I'm not feeling it today. Mm -hmm. But I, I understand what you're saying there when, when you can just be, like, free and just be like, you know what? I need that prayer. I need mm -hmm. to receive something today. That's, that's awesome that you can see that. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to agree with you guys. The community of, like, that we have at church, the, like, the trust we have with everybody. I feel like it's just nice being with somebody and being like, oh, like, I know, like, for example, Edwin, like, we've known, I've known Edwin personally for years, like, I don't even know when. Years. Since when. Yeah. And Damn, I feel old. like that, she just that connection, <laughs> literally, like, just the connection we have with, like, one gen, too, like, I really like how we have our um, small groups. I love small groups. So I feel like I'm really connected to my leader, and I feel like that's, like, um, important to have with the relationship with her and stuff, and yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Knowing that Genesis is one of our leaders also what? in the worship, what? for her to be able to submit what? to another <laughs> leader, that's awesome. Like yeah, That's like a great experience, right? Mm -hmm. That you'll be like, okay, I know how to lead, but I also need, know how to be led. Oh, and that's, okay. I think that's very important Word. for some of Word. us, you know, to understand that. That's awesome. For me, uh, you know what? It's just, like you say, it's the people. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes you see a new face and you're like, I wonder what they're going through and what made them get up and be able to walk through those doors. You know, I think uh, for me, it was struggling uh, at one point in my life um, with church. Uh, I think there was a point where uh, I, I was going through a big struggle, a big situation in my life that uh, at times I couldn't even open the door to my house to go to church. Mm -hmm. And just to win, you know, th that one win, to be able to walk in through those doors, it's just awesome. For me, it's the people. I love worship, though. Like, I'm a music guy. Like, I don't know how to play any instruments. I, <laughs> but I love music. I love the instruments. Um, in fact, I, I think I did a little bit of sound uh, when I started at church. Mm -hmm. And oh, I yeah. kind of just started developing an ear for music and just mm -hmm. knowing, okay. Uh, I tell some people sometimes it's a curse because you want to hear the song, how it goes. And sometimes someone's either off key or it hits the wrong note oh, been and it there, throws been you there. off track. Been but, there, done that. But yes, I know it's 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 like uh, something undescribable. But sometimes I'm just so into it. It's like I don't care how many mistakes there were. It's just to be able to be there and um, worship. You know. Mm -hmm. Any questions you have for us? Um, probably like Jenny? to continue the the worship. Um, what is everybody's favorite like worship or praise song at the moment? I feel like there's so many out there I can't even choose personally. I know, At this right? Moment? Oh, wow. play this. Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, me. It's a song called Outside by this person named No Big Deal. You should look it up. It's really good. Deal. It's like a... I'm going to have to add it. To yeah, it's like an alternative or like mm. a rap. I don't know. It's a bunch yeah. of genres, but it's mm. pretty cool. Nice. Isla Vista is like that. I don't know if you heard of them. No. They're, they're like alternative. Really? They're, it's cool. I love them once I found them. But mm. I would say mine would be... 
Um, worship Hermoso Momentos by, by what's your name? Um, Avery. <laughs> I don't know. He <laughs> 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 looks at me like, hey, what do you mean? <laughs> Give me an answer. Name. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot her name. But or Hermoso Momentos. See, my Spanish is not. Hermoso Momentos by Avery Morillo. Oh, Morillo. Yeah. love that. that love one. that. Yeah, I love heard that. It I heard it and I was like, song. whoa. <laughs> started this crying. is like, I have no yeah. idea what's going on right now. Yeah. You, Edwin? That's great. Ah, oh, you know what? Um... I, I like rap, you know, mm. like that's like my genre, mm. um, my, besides any other type. So Lecrae, I listen to Lecrae a lot. Shout out to Lecrae, bro. <laughs> right. Some tickets for a concert. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Sponsor. Uh, it's called Walk. Uh, it's a really good song. Uh, it's one of his newer songs. And I just think that, you know, like uh, with rap, it's kind of hard sometimes to bring it to a Spanish church. Mm. You know, like, I, I remember the first time I served at a glory night. Um, and by the way, we do glory night once a year, every uh, October. Mm -hmm. So you guys are going to be part of it. And um, I remember that there was this guy named Fidel. You know, oh, he comes out yeah. with a group of people, like a group. And they're doing reggaeton. And I'm like, <laughs> That's crazy. this is the first year I do lights. By, by the way, I do lights at church. I'm the <laughs> light like engineer. A... <laughs> yeah, so engineer, please. Not just like, <laughs> but he comes out with his group and they're doing reggaeton. And I'm like, what is going on here? Like, uh, I, my first words were like, wow, se vale? Like, you yeah. know, can you really do this at church? And I think it was just an amazing experience. He, he actually saw me rap in, in one of the, the fellowships after service. And he was like, hey, man, why don't we do some music together? And about maybe four or five years going strong doing songs, uh, he wrote always all the songs himself, but he always shared a part for me. So I think, uh, yeah, that that's a really good thing to bring to some churches, you know? Yeah. The, yeah. No, mm -hmm. that's crazy. How about you? Personally. The worship leader. <laughs> <laughs> right. A lot of pressure. Ha -ha, you guys are funny. Um, I don't know. There's so many good like praise and worship songs out there. But right now, probably like Hijo Prodigo by Monte Santo. Okay. I oh, actually wow. went to see them recently in um Ontario and I was like just in a fun experience. I literally went alone. Like how do I tell you I went alone? You went alone? Yeah, how was that? I, I went um so I carpooled with Joss and Val and Melissa. Oh. But I yeah. had gotten a regular ticket. So it was like a general ticket, but they all got VIP. Wow. So, like, last minute, I couldn't get a VIP ticket, so I was all the way in the bag by myself. But let well, me tell you, alone. that was too powerful. I was literally you crying. You had the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I did. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I was literally there. It was, it was such a good experience because I was like, oh, my, like, look at all these youth and people, you know, getting together to worship God. It was just nice moments. Oh, that's cute. Awesome. So, yeah, that's probably my song right now, Hijo Prodigo. You guys should listen to it. It's fire. Yeah. And that's pretty interesting how you say, like, you know, everyone else got VIP, <laughs> but you got led in the back, you know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the word of God says that the last will be first. So I think God Ooh. already had stored oh, wow. for you, like, hey, okay. you're going to be back hey, there. Hey, By hey, the hey. way, I, I, no, just <laughs> um, I think he had something for you. And I think that, that would lead me into the next question. Like, when was the last time you really felt God's presence, you know? I, I think that's one of the strong ones. And maybe, you know, not to the point where, you know, you're crying, you're bawling, but just, you're just seeking for God's presence and you were like, hey, um, I just need a word from you today, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, for me, uh, you know, recently, you know, have been some up and downs in my, in my life and my families. And I was like, man, like um, struggling. I was struggling with prayer. I was struggling with uh, uh, church. Even though you're a leader, you know, people expect you to always be there, you know, always be present. And sometimes as a leader, it's very, very hard, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I remember that I was just asking God, like, God, should I just stay home today again? You know, people are understanding, you know, there's a situation going in my family. Uh, they'll be okay with it. But, like, the spirit was really speaking to me and saying, hey, just go to church today. I remember I went upstairs. Uh, Junior was teaching that day, uh, the middle schooler. So I'm like, oh, he has it, no problem. Walked back downstairs, got a word from one of our youth leaders, uh, Brianna. Wow, oh, amazing yeah. person. Yeah. Wow, when I speak Shout to, out, speak to her, Brie, like, yeah. she's just so uh, kind-hearted, and she listens, you know. She's not quick to just, you know, give you an answer. Like, she just listened, mm -hmm. and I think that's what I needed. And it so happens they do the altar call. And how many of you guys have liked the altar call? Sometimes we're scared mm -hmm. of it, right? Like, I'd be like, don't like, eye contact. <laughs> I feel like no, sometimes, you know, a uh, pastor makes the altar call, and you're like, man, I went up there again this week. Like, you know, like people are starting to look at me very <laughs> yeah, funny, yeah, you know. Yeah. 
But uh, I, I didn't care. I went up there. I received Good. a word from, from Pastora, from Pastor. Uh, and then there was a worship song that came on. Uh, I can't tell you which one it was but because uh, I don't remember. But it just really filled me with the spirit. And I was like, wow, that's God right there answering you know, the prayer of me saying, hey, I just want to feel you again, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's happened to you guys, if you guys want to share oh, a yeah. situation, moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or Daniel, you were going to say something. You go first. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say, for me, it was it was when I was in my house, and I was just going through it, like, I guess mentally for sure. And I was like, dude, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I was just like, God, how am I, like, how do I say it? How, how is it that you still love me? How is it that you still care for me even after everything that I've done, that I continue to do that, all that? And I was just like, wow. And then a song came up when, because I was just playing music in the background. And um, it was Canvas and the Clay by Pat, Pat Barrett. Um, but there's like this section in the, in the song, and it's just so beautiful. And it really spoke to me in that moment. I was like, wow. Very. That's nice. Beautiful. That's powerful, yeah. to be honest. It is. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> um, I would say for me, just like this past few weeks or month, I've just been feeling like kind of nostalgic and kind of down because I, well, I I am from El Salvador. And so I like, I don't know, I've just been missing like my family and my friends. And I think now like we're all like spread out like all over the world. <laughs> so like, the last time that I went, we just had a really good time. And then this past few months, I've just been like, damn, like, I missed that, you know? And uh, I was just sad because sometimes I just feel kind of lost, I guess, here. But, you know, I I prayed, obviously. And God just shows me, like, verses or through, like, songs. Just, like, that there is a purpose that I am here. Even though sometimes, it, like, I... I guess I feel like alone or like not alone, but I guess I just miss like that comfort or, you know, that familiarity of the people that I used to have. But uh, yeah, I like through community at church, I guess he really like constantly reminds me that, you know, even though maybe I'm not with the people that I used to be, like there's new people here that can make me feel the same way and that show me the same love. So yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, well, that's good. That's so good. I would say for me, it would be probably like the same. Like I've been feeling, well, not let down, but I've just been feeling kind of empty since conference, since one gen conference we recently had. And then uh, we've got like um, a profeta coming for Transciende. I don't know if you guys remember that, but yeah. I don't know. She was just speaking life into the woman and just seeing that it was just so powerful. And then um, we just had a youth service. Um, how Edwin was saying with Bree, and Bree just brought the word. Like, it was so good. Great word. And I was just, um, at one point, she starts saying how God sees our heart. And I remember just sitting there and being like, oh, like, that's so true. Like, you, th um, recently, like, how um, I've been, like, worshiping up here. And it's just um, so powerful to see um, how Jesus actually sees our true hearts. And then at one point, she was saying, like, how, oh, like, it, everything's going to be okay. That like, you go through things. And the the whole word, or, like, this month's, um, theme was like identity I think right and then yeah. she was just talking about how our identity is in God and Christ and it was just just a good word that she brought us so very powerful yeah, yeah that's awesome so you know just going into that listening to you guys and uh, trying to understand a little bit more about you guys uh, what do you feel are uh, your challenges with your faith in the environment that you're in mm -hmm. um, in your everyday world you can say you know um, I think for me, one of the biggest struggles uh, sometimes can be work, you know, because there's so many things that work that um, are not uh, Christian, are not, mm -hmm. you know, um, of believers. Uh, in fact, even today I had a, a situation where one of our tenants, she's very, um, she, you could say they're very special tenants at our, at our uh, where I work at. And she was on drugs today. Like, she's normally drinking that, but she was on, like, some heavy drugs. Mm -hmm. And they start calling us up and saying, hey, you know, she's wandering around. Uh, her name is uh, Bathsheba. Um, and she she has a unique name. <laughs> For some reason, mm -hmm. I, I like her name, Bathsheba. Mm -hmm. And 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 she, she was just wandering into other properties and that we own. And then she was just acting, I guess, out. Mm -hmm. And it so happened that I go back to my building, you know, and they told me, hey, if you see her, ch try to see what she's up to, what she's doing, if she's being loud. We already called the police. 
And I happen to see her outside uh, on our grass area. And she's just there, you know, uh, smoking a cigarette. And, and, and she had, a, like, an alcoholic beverage. Mm. And she looks at me and she recognizes me from because she sees me, like, almost every other day. Mm -hmm. And she's like, are you here to take me away? And I'm like, no, why would I do that to you? And she's like, oh, because they're saying I'm acting a fool and everything. I'm like, no, but are you okay? And she literally broke down and just said, no, I'm not. Mm. I'm not okay. And I was like, I, at the moment, I had to go deliver something really quick to the building. And, but I walk out, and, and she's there still, right? And I'm like, uh, so what's wrong? Like, why aren't you okay? And she's like, can I have a hug? You know, mm. I was like, sure, yeah, I'm going to hug you. Um, I just felt one of those Jesus moments, you know, like I'm <laughs> like, well, this is the daughter of God. No matter mm -hmm. what her situation yeah. is, no matter how she is right now, that's not her identity. And mm -hmm. as you brought up identity, I was like, that's not her. This is the, the enemy is lying to her right now. Mm -hmm. And as I'm speaking to her, I'm praying. So I'm listening and I'm praying. Mm -hmm. Like, God, this is your daughter. Help her out, you know. Like, get her out of this situation. And she starts telling me, like, oh, um, no, I'm feeling bad. You know, it's these drugs, like, that I'm on right now that I took earlier. I was like, wow. For her to admit something like that right away just told me that, that God was with us that moment, you know, in that precise moment. And um, what I understood was that, you know, God wanted to say something to her. And I said, hey, you're going to be okay, you know. Let me pray for you. And I started pr to pray for her. And I asked her, what, what's wrong? Why can't you go up to your apartment and just hang out there? She's like, no, because that's where they're going to find me. That's where they're going to attack me. And, and I'd rather be out in the streets so I can defend myself. And as I stood there, I kind of understood one thing. She's fighting demons. Mm. You know, she's fighting some type of demons that have her haunted. So for me, it's like, wow. And the everyday environment that I work in, like, there's a constant battle with the enemy. And... I think for him putting me in those situations, you know, it's, it's just to, to be able to speak truth and be able to say, hey, I battle with my faith also, but I maybe can help others through their faith also. You know what I mean? Yeah. Wow. That was far from, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> um, okay, I'll go. I would say for me in my environment, uh, well, I spend a lot of my time obviously at school in college. And I would say that the thing that challenges my faith the most is, I guess, just, like, wasting time. Yeah. I feel like a lot of people in my environment or in college just tend to think that, you know, you have four years and, like, for some, like, to me, that four years is, like, a very short amount of time. Like, you know, I should have fun, obviously, and I'm enjoying it. But at the same time, like, God has given me a purpose, and mm -hmm. I yeah. do not want to waste that. And, the, like, the talents and, like, the gifts he has given me into mm -hmm. things that do not, like, uplift others or, like, uplift his name, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think that's one of the main things that challenge my face the most because, obviously, a lot of times I want to go, like, other places. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, I have either homework or, like, I just shouldn't go there, right? Like, I... I just shouldn't, and because it's not really going to give or benefit me in any way or, like, make me grow in my faith. So I would say, like, not wasting my time, my opportunities, and just being, like, you know, consistent and, like, in my faith. Uh, it's the biggest challenge, I guess, in college. Wow, mm -hmm. time. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's something big right there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Need to spend your time. I'd say for me, it's kind of like what Lucy said in the past, but was that I, like, lost a lot of friends during 2022. And so there are times where I, like, I look back, I'm like, well, I miss, I miss them. Like, I miss the things we used to do, hanging out and all that. And so then when I'm, like, in church or when I'm praying, I'm just, like, I don't know. It would just come to thought, like, remember this? Remember when you used to do that? And, and, it, and it hurts sometimes because I'm like, wow. It's, and it's all gone now. But I know... I know it's just that, how do I say, that I can't dwell on that because if I do, I'm going to miss what, well, you know, what God has given me now. Because I know there are times in church where I'm just, like, silent mm. because I'm thinking of my old friends. And I'm like, in that moment, I could be making new friends. In that moment, I, I'm missing what God has for me. I'm missing what God is, like, showing me in that. Right. In there. But yeah. That, my old friends. 
That was really good. I think reminiscing on the past. Yeah, (laughs) yeah, Yeah, definitely I struggle with that. But sometimes we could get lost in the past. Yeah. We can just be thinking like, wow, I could be somewhere else. Right. You know, but that God has that purpose for all of us, you know, to be Mm -hmm. like, hey, you're in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. Um Jenny? Jenny, what do you um, <laughs> I would say it's weird that people call me it's cause some people call me Jen and then some people call me Jenny. So one is like Jenny, but anyways. Jenny first. <laughs> um I would say something that challenges my faith is definitely still being um I was gonna say still being young, but we're all young here, guys. We're all young. But I'm saying like Are we really? <laughs> sure? I'm saying young in the in that aspect of like going going to high school, you know, and because I'm sixteen and when I go to You're like 16? school, that's crazy. <gasps> what? That's, what'd you guys? Oh, you guys? Oh, you guys think I, you were thirteen. Really? No, I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be wow, seventeen. Wow, they said thirteen. Wow. The thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But you know, just going to high school and then being a youth, you know, at church, I feel like there's a lot of things that in life that the the enemy could trick you with, and especially being young and you know, um, I feel like just there's things that. I should be doing and doing using my time like wise like how Lucy was saying, like you know I could be like reading the Bible or just reading a passage or listening to a worship song, you know, and I feel like that's very much also on discipline because I feel like mm-hmm. recently the worship team has been like you know oh like we've been fasting right and then something we've been fasting is worldly music so like I feel like for me that's like a huge like part of discipline because you know it's like music out there is like. Good. Hard. <laughs> good, yeah. <laughs> but then again, like just worship music and praise music, it's just so powerful. So like, I feel like it changes like my mood or just my day by just listening to that. And I feel like there's a lot that goes into worship. And yeah, awesome. yeah. I like how um, you know everything kind of just connected right mm-hmm. now. You know, we yeah. talked about time, we talked about meeting new people, friends, and you know, and you're talking about the same thing. Um, how it's all connected. You know, like that's what we need. You know. Sometimes we run out of time, you know, and we mm. feel like, wow, we're just doing so many other things yeah. that we forget to live a little, you know. Mm. So it's okay to live, you know. I think that that's one of the important things because along the way, when you do meet people, when you do uh, meet uh, others, you know, and not just concentrate on the past, you're going to see that God had a purpose for you regardless, you know. He wanted to meet you to meet that person, you know. Mm. God wanted me to run into this person today for some mm-hmm. reason, you know. And I think the purpose was like sowing something in her you know Mm -hmm. where you know i've seen like movies and things about you know uh people that are living a struggled life and later on 10 years later they run into that person and now they're all cleaned up and i and i i I could probably see that in her you know that one day she's gonna be saved she's gonna be i was actually uh i don't know if you guys ever heard of uh cat von d um she she was uh Mm -hmm. witchcraft and Oh. tattoos all this she's done she's lived a life mm-hmm. that's yeah. not yeah. Uh, uh you know uh, according to uh god um good you know but uh i heard that she just recently baptized got yeah. baptized oh, yeah. left uh worse, they left god. the witchcraft behind and i I'll automatically you start hearing the comments oh i wonder how long mm-hmm. this is gonna last mm-hmm. I, there's always gonna be that negativity when you decide to make the right steps Definitely, you know and, yeah. and walk with God, you know. So uh, with that being said, you know, I just have one more question for you guys. And is, um, what do you guys uh, expect from this podcast? Like, Ooh. <laughs> oh, me? Chance, right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's all just, you guys are all talking. Yeah, like, well, what? <laughs> um, what do I expect? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> I think having fun, that's the main thing. Mm-hmm. And like, see where it like goes. And just like experimenting different topics, having different guests, and just overall getting to know each other and then mm-hmm. presenting like a different perspective of youth ministries and like church in general that, uh, as we were saying, like church can be fun. It, ha- it is fun. And we do a lot of activities and then a lot of fun things together and like, as we all mentioned, uh, one thing that we enjoy the most about church is community. And so I just hope that this podcast can bring us together and, like, unify us as a community. Awesome. Yeah, I like that. Mm-hmm. I, I want to see this podca- podcast attract youth. I want them to see this podcast and be like, wow. Like like what Lucy was saying, that it's not just, like, like it's not boring. Church isn't boring. Mm-hmm. You know, there are things in church that you can find joy in and 
main purpose is just to attract more youth to disrupt that concept of church. You get me? So, that's good. Yeah. I like that. Mm, that's good. That's yeah. good. To sleep. Jenny. I would say something, or what was the question exactly? Oh <laughs> my god! Well, what do you? What no. do you? Uh, <laughs> What do you expect from this podcast? What I expect from this podcast. I feel like it's just a time for us to, how Lucy was saying, get, getting to get to know each other. And I feel like it's um, good for the people watching to get to know who we are as one gen and, you know, that youth ministry and CPLN. And I feel like it's just going to be, you know, fun and we're going to be speaking live, truth, and yeah. Interesting. Awesome. Yeah, I think the same community comes mm -hmm. to mind. Like just... Being able to, you know, speak freely, you know, have that conversation, you know, bringing people that uh, are going to be guest speakers mm -hmm. also and just just getting their point of view of things, you know, because sometimes you feel like, oh, well, it's a leader and he's living a great life and a, a perfect life. And we're not, you know, mm -hmm. uh, we're all leaders. We're all meant to lead, but we're also meant to serve, you know, mm -hmm. and that's what I think this podcast is going to be is to serve you out there, to serve you guys and, you know. Bring your questions, you know, ask us whatever you want. I don't think, uh, I'm not going to hide from any questions, you know. <laughs> um, I will right here. It's, it's pretty good. Um, so with that being said, I think today we're going to uh, end it with that. Uh, our podcast is going to be uh, next month, I believe, we're yeah, going to be our yeah. first episode. So, yeah. Late uh, November. What was that? Late November. Late yeah. November. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Well, after Thanksgiving. <laughs> so, so tune in. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's us uh, for the podcast for One Gen today. And I hope you guys have a great time. Thank you. Bye. Yes, Thank you.